Problem 33 is another type of a product mix problem. We have 10 Kroger's stores that uh, we have to make a decision whether or not to keep the store open. Uh, we know what the revenue is for each store and the, the stores that we're going to keep open we want to have uh, we do not want to have any store closer than two miles to another store. Uh, we've got a map that shows the stores that are currently open and the circles around the stores represent those stores that are within two miles of one another. In other words, uh, stores one and three are circled. They're within one mile of one another. Stores one, two, and four are also circled. They are within a mile of one another. But three and four are not within a mile of one another. Our decision variable for this problem is x sub i, representing the decision to keep store i open. And we want to maximize the profitability of the remaining stores, so we want to maximize z is equal to 127x1 plus 83x2 plus 165x3 and so forth on through 94x10. When we take a look at the map of the stores, we see that there are seven regions that are circled. And we need, we'll need to have one store open within each region. That ensures that no more than uh, one store uh, within two miles is open. And in order to do that, we're going to need to construct seven different logical constraints. And those are going to be fairly simple to construct once we recognize that we need to keep uh, seven stores open. The form of the constraint is simply going to be for region one, the first region, x1 plus x3 has to equal 1. So we're going to keep either store 1 or store 3. The second region, x1 plus x2 plus x4 has to equal 1 as well. So if you take a look at this, you would re realize that uh, keeping store 1 open would satisfy both of those constraints. And we can continue with each circled region, end up with x4 plus x5 plus x6, x6 plus x9, x9 plus x10, x8 plus x10, and x6 plus x7 plus x8 equal 1. Of course these are binary decision variables so we also need x sub i is equal to binary. Now when we go to Excel and bring up the correct spreadsheet we have our 10 decision variables. We have the revenue that each store is going to generate. We want to maximize that revenue, calculate that as the sum of the products of our decision variable, absolute, and the revenue per store. And we can make a copy of this, paste special, formulas only, leaving that formatting behind. And if we bring solver up and reset our solver options, we're going to maximize our target cell by changing our decision variables subject to these constraints. Left hand side has to equal the right hand side. And our decision variables have to be binary. And our solution keeps stores 2 and 3, 5, 8, and 9 open, satisfying all of our constraints.